So uh, on Fox this News, is, this is stunning. This is stunning. I mean, we haven't covered the Anthony Weiner thing here much. Uh, Sam and John Fugelsang spoke about it very briefly for maybe like five, ten minutes uh, Friday. That was our first and discussion on this latest Weiner revelation. Um, but there's been a real attack on Anthony Weiner's wife, uh, Huma Abedin, um, and it's been. Pretty disgusting, but this one really might take the cake. It's been mean-spirited psychobabble. Yes. Um, over on uh, Fox News, Brooke Goldstein, a human rights lawyer, which is just bizarre. <laughs> yeah. I, I would – well, yeah. I bet you the human rights of whites, Republicans, and, and, and rich people, I'm sure. Yes. Some type of Muslim conspiracy thing. Yeah. In there. Is, uh, she, she, uh, she has a, an interesting uh, theory about this whole Anthony Weiner sexting scandal and what, uh, what role Huma Abedin, Anthony Weiner's wife, has to play in it. Let's play that one right now. I mean, of all the other things we could possibly be focused on, <laughs> like the real question, why is Weiner so unattracted to Huma Abedin? Oh, why? Why? <laughs> why? Perhaps it's because she is connected oh, with Islamists who want to kill us? <laughs> Perhaps it's because her family members are part and parcel of the Muslim Brotherhood. I mean, I, I completely agree with Andy McCarthy that she poses one of the greatest national security really? threats to this administration. She has access to the most classified information because of her position with Clinton about the Muslim Brotherhood, which is which is its creed is to destroy America from within. They can't even and destroy the Egypt. only reason. <laughs> Peter is still a, this disgraced man is still able to run is because of his connections to whom Okay, even on Fox, there's some incredulous, you're an insane lunatic bigot laughter going on. It's, I mean, yeah, they can't even. I do think the line he said was pretty funny, actually. I mean, that was definitely a slight attack on what she was saying. I think they thought she was pretty ridiculous, actually. Um, but but it's just amazing to hear these things. It's stunning, and it's so. I mean, the comfort with conspiracy theory and bigotry about Muslims in the mainstream is truly, truly stunning. And I love how she ends it with Anthony Weiner is only still in this. He's only able to get away with he, these these scandals because his connection with uh, Huma. Uh, my question is. Is geez, someone please uncover the connection between Huma and uh, David Vitter and Huma and uh, <laughs> Scott Sanford? Because I would love to know what their connection is with her. Because clearly, the only way you can have these scandals and continue to run is with this connection to the all-powerful Muslim Brotherhood, America-destroying Huma Abedin.